Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and show how to use these Irwin Vise Grip Wire Stripper Crimper Cutter. And the model number on this one is 207-8309. Um, and right here it shows that I get a lifetime guarantee from Irwin. And then there is some information on the back here and some warnings on the back. So make sure to read through all of this information and warnings before you do use this tool. And whenever you're working with tools, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration and review, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles. And make sure that you take all safety precautions. And whenever you're working with wires, make sure that the electricity is off. You never want to work with live wires, uh, you know, while the electricity is on. So make sure that the electricity is off to whatever you're working on before you start working on it. Okay, so let me take this out of the packaging here and I'll be right back and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through each of the functions of the tool here. Um, and I have, this is an 18 gauge wire, and then I have a bolt here, um, and then I have a couple different electrical connectors. And I'm going to show you how this tool works um, with all of these different things. The first thing I wanna show you is how to cut wire. Um, so there is just a part right here in the tool that can cut the wire. So if you put the wire in to whatever length you wanna cut off, um, and then you can squeeze the handles together and it will cut the wire like so. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is up top here. So this is where you strip the wire and it has all the different gauges listed there. Um, so this is 18 gauge, so we're going to put it into the 18 gauge part here and then squeeze the handles together and then just pull the wire away from the tool like so. And I want to show you something here. If you have strand wire and when you're stripping the insulation off of the wire, it takes a couple strands with it, um, you just want to move down to the next um, you know, larger gauge. So like in this case, you know, even though this is 18 gauge wire, we're going to move down to the 16 gauge spot um, and then we'll uh, pull the wire away from the tool and then it will take the insulation off and you can see here that it didn't take any of the strands with it. So if you uh, do have that problem when you're, um, you know, stripping the insulation away from the wire, just move down, um, you know, to the next larger uh, gauge until you're able to get the insulation off without taking the strands of wire off with it. Okay, so let me cut this back. Um, I'm going to cut this wire here. Um, I stripped that wire back too far. So I'm going to show you on one of the electrical connectors here. Let me get this to the right length. There we go. Um, now I'm going to show you with, with one of the electrical connectors here. You want to make sure that you're using the right connector for the wire that you're using. And this connector here works anywhere between 18 gauge and 22 gauge wire. So I'm going to put the wire into the connector like so. Um, and then down here is the crimp part of the tool. Um, and you can see right here, 22 to 18 gauge. A lot of times the connectors are color coded, but they're not always, so just be aware of that. Um, but we can see a place for the connector to sit in. And then on this side, it will pinch the connector together to uh, keep the wire in there. So I'm going to open this up. And then we're going to, before I do that, um, you wanna imagine like the middle of the connector here and then to where it flares out here. And then you want in the middle of those two points, that's where you wanna crimp this uh, together. So I'm going to rest it um, like so in the tool, make sure I have everything uh, lined up as I want it, and then squeeze the handles together. And then you wanna make sure, you can always give it a test here just to make sure that the wire and the connector are together good. Uh, but that's how this particular connector, um, you crimp onto a wire like this. Okay, so now let's do on the other side here, um, let's do the other connector. 
Oop, that one took a couple pe a couple copper strands with it. So I'm going to cut that back and then we'll try this again here. There we go. That one was better. Um, so for this connector, same thing. This connector uh, works between 18 and 22 gauge. Okay, and then now with this connector, we're going to uh, put the wire into the connector like so. And then we are going to line it up in the tool again. Like so, and then once we get everything lined up, we're just going to squeeze the handles together um, until it locks that connector in place like so. Okay, so now I want to show you how the bolt portion um, of this tool works. And when we open up the handles here, you can see that these holes line up. So when it's closed, they don't line up. And then as we open it up, uh, it gets to a point where they line up. And you have like 5-40, 10-24, 4-40, 10-32, And these are common bolt sizes. Um, and the first number is the size of the bolt. And then the second number is the thread size uh, of the bolt. So this particular bolt here is a 8-32. So if we put it into that hole and then we can just turn it in, it's just going in the threads. Um, so you can just thread this through until you get it to wherever you want to cut it off. Um, and it's going to cut in between the two handles. Um, so you have the handle here and the handle here and then the space in the middle. Um, that's where it's going to uh, cut this off. So um, let's go ahead and just, you know, we're just demonstrating. I don't need this bolt any particular length, uh, but we'll say right here. So then I'm just going to squeeze the handles together. And there it goes. And then I'll open this up. And here is the bottom of the bolt. And then um, we can want to make sure you get it, you know, I, I was opening it too far there, but you want to make sure you get it uh, back open to the correct spot. Um, and then you can just uh, unthread the bolt uh, from the tool like so. So some additional features of this tool, it has this hole right here that you can use to loop uh, solid wires. Um, so I don't have any wire that's solid, but I can give you an example with the um, threaded wire here. So let's cut this off. And then I'm going to um, strip the insulation off here. And Again, this is, um, you know, not a solid, um, you know, not a solid wire. This is stranded wire. But what you can use this for, um, this part right here, is to be able to loop the wires. Um, so you can create a loop, um, you know, if you're putting it around a screw or something like that. Um, and then you also have this part up here. Uh, this is the plier part of the tool. Um, where you can grab onto the wire and be able to straighten it back out. And like so. So in my opinion, this is a nice tool to have and it has a lot of different functions. Um, you know, this is the crimp portion of the tool. This is where you can, um, you know, cut the different size bolts with the tool. Uh, this is where you can cut wire. Uh, this is where you can loop wire. Um, this is where you can strip the insulation from the wire, uh, anywhere from 10 AWG to 22 AWG. And then you have the plier portion of the tool right here. So it can do a lot of different things. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.